Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. To activate Python scripts from AutoHotkey v2 hotkeys, you can use the run command in AutoHotkey to execute the Python interpreter with the path to your Python script as an argument. Here's a step-by-step -step tutorial along with a code example. Step 1, install Python on your system if you haven't already. You can download Python from the official website, https colon slash slash www.python.org slash downloads. Step 2, write your Python script that you want to execute. Save the script with a .py extension. Step 3, install AutoHotkey v2 if you haven't already. You can download AutoHotkey v2 from the official website, https colon slash slash www.autohotkey.com Step 4, create an AutoHotkey script that contains the hotkey you want to use to trigger the Python script. Step 5, Use the run command in the auto hotkey script to execute the Python script with the Python interpreter. Here's an example auto hotkey script that launches a Python script when you press Ctrl plus Alt plus P. In this script, caret, P colon defines the hotkey combination Ctrl plus Alt plus P. Run is the command used to execute a program or script. Python C colon backslash path backslash to backslash your backslash python backslash script dot pi grave accent is the command to run the python script located at C backslash path backslash to backslash your backslash python backslash script dot pi comma hide hides the console window that opens when running the python script save the auto hotkey script with a dot a extension and run it using auto hotkey when you press Ctrl plus Alt plus P, the Python script specified in the auto hotkey script will be executed. Remember to replace C backslash path backslash to backslash your backslash python backslash script dot pi with the actual path to your Python script. This tutorial provides a simple way to trigger Python scripts using auto hotkey hotkeys. You can customize the hotkey combination and script path according to your needs.